Hello Virgo, I hope that you are doing absolutely positively amazing, amazing. Bear with me one moment, please. I need some water, a lot of water. All right, Virgo, this is for the weekend of March 8th through the 10th, March 8th through the 10th. I hope that all is well with you. All is well. Alright, welcome back to all my old and new subscribers. Always happy to have you here. Please keep encouraging one another down in comments. I just I just adore that. It's just ma magnificent. And welcome to all my new visitors. Please click subscribe so we can stay connected. Alright, let's see what we got for Virgo. Virgo, I just like I feel so happy. Somebody's happy, 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 happy. <sighs> For some reason I was gonna say happy, happy, joy, joy. I don't remember what silly like cartoon that was from, but <laughs> Virgo, <sighs> I just said y'all are happy. Three of swords, what's up with that? Three of swords. Ah, oh, but you are happy. Four of wands, okay. Eight of coins. Alrighty. Ten of wands. Burdens again. Yes, yes, honey, just a minute. Alright. And the nine of cups. See, I told you, you were happy. <laughs> You're happy, happy. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Uh, you could be dealing with the Younger Water sign, possibly because the Page of Cups is here, but you don't have to be. Um, the Page of Cups, Virgo. Uh, <laughs> the, page, the Page of Cups is about um, the messenger of love. So this is like romance is in the air. You're like feeling good and feeling like kind of a little bit of being up in your feelings a little bit and kind of like wondering where things are going to go and you know what should you do next and things of that nature um i really like this energy for you so the weekend there, the weekend could be a very romantic weekend for you virgo if you are coupled up in some way shape or form whether you're in an exclusive relationship whether you're in, a, in an exclusive relationship married whatever this is saying this weekend could be very romantic for you, Virgo. But we start out with some heartbreak. So it's possible that you and your person have recently gotten into a fight or you may you may um, currently be like kind of like coming back from some sort of argument, some sort of fight here with this three of swords in your um, overall, you know, the beginning energy. So that was, you know, a recent event. And then we have the four of wands here. This is kind of... It's almost like the heartbreak caused the two of you. Sometimes it takes people breaking up to recognize that they belong together. I kind of feel like you broke up with somebody to recognize that you belong with this person. Whether, like I said, whether you're married in you know committed relationship or um, not yet in an exclusive relationship, I feel like you're moving in that direction. It looks like you're going to be putting work into this connection with this Eight of Coins. Um, the Eight of Coins can also be actually working, but I'm feeling like you're going to be putting work into the connection after having had this, this period of heartbreak. It's like, here the two of you fought, 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 anger, heartbreak, ugh, you know, don't like that energy. <laughs> and then you move, you, you repair things, you fix things. You, you come back together again and step, you know, a little bit closer to one another with regards to your relationship. And then here you are, Virgo, putting work into the connection, which is absolutely positively beautiful. Perhaps you're the one who's being, you know, Mr. or Miss Romantic, which is lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, then you kind of start feeling burdened. Burdened. I feel like I feel like as the weekend progresses, people are going to start demanding your time. It's like, hey Virgo, I need you to do, you know, blah blah blah. 
uh, hey Virgo, it's it's getting towards spring. Could you help me clean out my gutters? You know, uh, hey Virgo, uh, you know, I need you to take out my dog for me. Can you walk my dog? Hey Virgo, um, you know, I'm, I can't be home right now. I know, like, you're not so busy, so can you go turn on the lights in my house? You know, I mean, kind of like weird sort of stuff. I feel like you're going to be burdened by people. People trying to take your time away from your loved one, the person you're wanting to spend time with. And I think that you tell them no. I think you do. I think you release some of those burdens and you're like, no, I'm too busy. I'm sorry. This weekend, I'm too busy. And this is hard for you, Virgo. It's hard for you to tell people I'm not going to help you. It's hard for you to tell people that, you know, it's not a good time. But you, I feel like you do because you move towards this Nine of Cups energy. This is a wish fulfillment. <sighs> Virgo, this has been like the shortest reading <laughs> for the weekend. But what I'm seeing basically is you had a fight with somebody, somebody you care about, you fixed it, you're spending time with them, you're working on it. It's making you intensely happy. There's a lot of romance here in the air. You might be having a really nice physical time this weekend too. And you're telling people, no, you can't have my time this weekend because you're wanting to spend it with your loved one. It's cut and dry. I can't, I can't extend that out. It's, it's beautiful. Absolutely, positively beautiful, Virgo. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know what title yours. Romance is in the air. That page of cups. Romance is in the air. Virgo in love. <laughs> doesn't really say you're in love, but it's like, it's kind of like, you know, you're kind of like getting a little bit closer with somebody, <laughs> whether you're in a relationship with them, not. Virgo, March 8th through the 10th, please. And this won't be for everybody. It is a general reading. If it's not, please check your moon, your rising signs, and your Venus sign for additional information. Virgo, it looks like religious factors or the way that you were raised or, or the way that the other person was raised may be a factor in your love life right now that maybe why you, the two of you had a falling out, some sort of fight, um, may have been related to a preconceived notion or a preconceived um, viewpoint. So just keep that in mind going forward. Have a beautiful weekend, Virgo, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.